Are you looking for a WordPress performance plugin to take your site to the next level? Well, you're in luck, my friends. Watch this video as I take you through my favorite features of the Swift performance plugin. Hi, I'm Kim and I help bloggers and small business owners with their tech problems so that they can focus on being creative. So first off, I'm gonna show you the really cool setup wizard that helps you get up and running with Swift performance. I was really impressed with it because I know that it's going to help WordPress users who aren't that confident with the tech side of things. So here goes. This is the setup wizard for Swift Performance. Now, um, this is actually the first plugin I've tried that comes with the start wizard. And I think it's a really great idea. Um, a lot of us, when we come to install plugins, we're not quite sure what settings we need and, you know, how to go about setting them up. And I think um, a start wizard is a is a great, great idea. See, and I like that it does this little analysis of your site before, you know, it gets into the nitty gritty of um, what your settings should be. I mean, yeah, you can use auto configured settings if you want and, and have it done, or you continue the wizard. I'm gonna walk you through the wizard so that you can see what's going on. I'm gonna take its recommendations. So I want it to pre-build pre my cache, enable the browser cache and enable gzip. I am now going to select merge scripts and merge styles. I'm also going to minify my HTML. By all means, you don't have to do this, um, but they are settings that I like to have switched on in a caching plugin. Um, for anyone who doesn't know what minification is, you know, it, it basically removes unnecessary white spaces from the HTML. And um, by merging scripts and styles into one file, it means that your blog only or your site only has to load one file for each of those things. Although, let's be honest, it could be a big file. So you may see a benefit from it. You might not. Easy load images, optimize images on upload. That's a great, great part of this caching um, plugin that I'll talk about later on. I'm going to I'm happy with those settings. And there we go. It's finished. And you can now go to the Swift Performance settings, back to the dashboard or optimize images. Now I'm going to look at the database optimizer tab. Um, those of you who are regular viewers here at the Blog Genie will probably be able to tell just how excited I am um, that there's a big warning here saying, please first back up your database because any optimization is irreversible. And it actually makes you click a button to say, yes, I have a backup and you can't see anything else on screen until you click I have a backup. Like I said, a lot of you watching will know how hot I am on making sure your blog is backed up. So um, this gets a big thumbs up from me. So I've confirmed I have a backup and now this is um, an overview of my database. You can see actually that my database is quite clean at the moment um, because I've been playing with this plugin on this site. But um, what really, really excites me about this part of the plugin is that you can schedule these jobs to be done regularly. Obviously, you want to make sure that they're done in sync with your backups. Like, I haven't got any revisions saved at the moment, but I'm just going to show you if you click the clock, you can choose how often you want it to run 12 hours daily weekly bi-weekly monthly now how awesome is that for me i say i want to do that weekly save that there and the same with your trash posts you can clean those up regularly your spam comments i mean you know don't get me wrong i'm a fan of the wp optimize plugin um but this kind of takes it to a new level you know no one likes having to do kind of this maintenance stuff regularly so just having it set up so it does it without you even thinking is great in my view. This is the Swift Performance Image Optimizer. Those of you who are familiar with WP Smush, it does something quite similar. Um, but what I really like about this is the little settings tab over here. The fact that you can you can tell it what percentage you want your image quality. For me, when I'm optimizing my jpeg well any of my images i go down to 90 percent um 
minimum because I go to 90% minimum because you're still making quite a big saving on your image file size but virtually um, unnoticeable to the human eye but this is really really cool you can also um, get it to resize large images any images that you upload that are bigger than 1920 pixels it will resize them to this size I mean 19 120 pixels is the default you can make that even smaller and so any images that you upload that are bigger than this um, Than this value here it will resize them. That's really cool You can also choose whether or not you want to keep your original images and um, depending on how much space you have free on your host And um, it might be an idea to uncheck that obviously, you know better than I do really love that and um, so yeah to optimize your images you just hit the button and off it goes and it does it all for you you can see here this is the the amount of space that images were taking up before i optimized them this is the current size after i've optimized them once i'm obviously running the optimizer again to show you how it's going down um but yeah leave me a comment to let me know what you think of swift performance make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to make sure you never miss a video so today i walked you through the swift performance plugin we looked at the setup wizard and the database optimizer and the image optimizer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.